This was the national awakening, our singing revolution, and nothing could stop it. With Latvian flags flying, thousands took to the streets in the late 80s, demanding immediate independence from the USSR. The main driving force for change is the Popular Front of Latvia. With great support from the populace, it sets the restoration of Latvia's independence as its goal. The decision is to achieve this in a peaceful and parliamentary way. The deciding moment comes in the spring of 1990. Supporters of independence win a majority in the election for the Latvian SSR's Supreme Council. The hope is to gain the necessary two-thirds of votes. This would allow for Latvia's statehood to be restored through the procedure laid down by the USSR itself. Drafting of the Declaration on the Restoration of Independence begins right after the election. The process takes a month and a half with much discussion and amendments. The newly elected members meet for the first time on the 3rd of May. People are already gathering around the Parliament to await the historic decision. Discussion on the Declaration itself starts the next day on the 4th of May. This day will bring the long-cherished historic decision to restore the independent state of Latvia. The debate is long. Those against independence engage in filibustering, forcing the final vote to take place only in the evening. Crowding around their radios, people near the parliament building follow each vote for independence closely. At least 132 votes are needed from the 198. We have 138. Victory! Smiles and tears of joy. The 4th of May Declaration is based on the doctrine of the continuity of the Latvian state under international law since the occupation, annexation and incorporation of Latvia into the Soviet Union were all unlawful. Founded on the 18th of November 1918, the Republic of Latvia was restored on the 4th of May 1990, having continued to exist de jour throughout the 50 years of Soviet occupation. Thus, Latvia took a unique step in the history of Europe and the whole world, gaining its freedom twice in the same century.